gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Greetings, Ascenders. Welcome to another episode of The Ascent. I am Cobalt Thorium. And in this episode, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Um, bop, 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 bop. I think we're going to map some missions. Mm. And we could do trading places. But that's level six. It's pretty low. We could try to do this. One of these is like level two. Anabolic Express. We did need to unlock a new location to do that one. Um, but I think that they're on the same level. So let's just go ahead and try trading places. All right, so Boss Poon wants all able muscle to bring back the kidnapped indents from the Onyx Void. This is not just to help those who are kidnapped. Those skilled and specialized indents are crucial to the survival of the Lohab. So we, know, we need to go to the Onyx Void chapter. The Onyx Void are involved and I need to go and ask them politely about what the hell has happened and where the missing people are. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, where did I map these keys to? There we go. Stuck that bad boy on the C key so it's nice and close to my wazzed hand. Don't have to reach all the way across to the O key. Which is kind of weird. A weird idea for positioning keys. what type of inmates we're talking about here. So this is called the glut? That doesn't really indicate anything, does it? Can't go through there, huh? Well, we got the screen thing. We go through there. Cool suits. It's better than my suit. Looks like it might be the same brand, but it suits better. So yeah, they don't, they're not really indicating if this was like high, like a prison, high security prison cell or something like that, or some kind of mental institution perhaps. Whoa, a little bit of a glitch there. no enemies going pretty smoothly although it looks like we got one coming up whoops looks like we have an innocent casualty there Oh, my God. 
pretty straightforward. This guy's just chilling out here on the bench. Let's pick up some of these healthinesses. Where do I put grenades? Oh, it's not... Did I throw a grenade? I guess I must have. Sorry, big guy. Need to figure out where these keys are. Okay, that was a grenade. I threw that way too far. So where's my smash? Oh, it might be Q. There we go. What was that? Go ahead and grab that. Access denied. There's a big glowy Ascent Group logo. A little bit harsh on the eyes. obvious how to deal with the shield guys you just punch them so this is a metro station right all right I don't think we want to go in there maybe we do no we don't I'm mostly just trying to make sure that our escape route is clear, although these enemies probably respawn, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's just go to the objective. Actually, we should check to see if we have any loot around. We do, but they're inside that area, I think. That club or whatever was up there. Let's take one more look up at the club and see if that is, in fact, off limits to us. For sure. I never tried to hack it or anything like that, so let's just go and Be certain. Okay. And that is for sure where the loot is? Yes, it is. Okay, so that loot is off when it's us. I'm sure we'll find a way in there eventually. And here's another door.
That worked out pretty well. We got our grenade back. Let's see if we can get into the club from the back here. Access denied, but it's not looking so good. Hmm. Alright, at least we got a little bit of a loot crate here. Just a basic component. Engines to keep this city floating or whatever. Perhaps. Oh, there's a bounty up here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Oh, wow, that hurt. Press what to detonate? I have to. Wow, I'm really in bad shape here. Back, that's what we need. What is going on here? What is that? That worries me. I'm not sure what it is. All right. Yeah, so in general, that went kind of badly for us, but I mean, that's not so bad that it's irrecoverable. Alright, health is looking still a little bit spotty, but it's getting better. Let's go up in here.
All right, not back, not quite back to full health yet. Uh, oh, hey. Yeah, still a little bit lacking. It's okay though. We'll get there eventually. Unless we don't. <laughs> I get this way. Do I go this through here? No. Okay, I guess we have to go up and around. I hope we can. Well, there's an open door. Let's see if we can find ourselves some more health before we go in there, though. Nope. There's a, a giant cargo elevator. Ooh, hello. Ah. Alright, looks like cargo elevator it is. Why is this pointing this way now? I think we are supposed to use the cargo elevator. No, let's just use this one. It's a cool building back there. Looks like the police station from uh, Blade Runner. You waving to me? Here's the character. Hey, you there. You seem like you can hold your own. Sure. You pitch you in for a sec? You could really use the help. Okay. Perfect. See, here's what's going on. We actually have a prison break in progress in the club. Yeah, that's right. The inmates were getting all up at me. And they finally found a way out. You have already gotten out, but it could be many, many more. We gotta stop them, of course, but here's the catch. They've got access to a big old fucking mech as well. Uh oh. I don't know if I'm up for that. Gal, but. We need you to head to the prison and stop the breakout. Don't worry, I'll make it worth your while. Big time. That is, assuming you manage to get back here in one piece. I'm gonna assume that that's probably a higher level mission, so it's called Prison Break. We have a new character here. Alex. Uh, Alex. Okay. Alex is your typical corpsec officer, trapped in a not-so-typical situation. He is a mercenary who hasn't gotten paid as of late. And to add to his woes, poor Alex decided to do the right thing. Observe his oath and stay on post while his colleagues vacated the area. Alex sure is regretting his choice now that there is no paycheck in sight. And to make matters worse, he's also dealing with a sudden prison break. How about you do the right thing too and help the poor man out? Well, if he is a man, he's a little, a little goblin or something. Um, all right. Well, let's take a peek at the map's mission, side missions, the prison break, 15, yeah, well, that is definitely outside of our current comfort zone, but at the same time, we can still continue on with our main objective. Are there any other? I'm just checking to see if we have any other missions that we might have missed along the way. Cool. 
right, let us take a look at map submissions, see if we've got anything. This looks like a new little city. Um, um, did we miss a freight here? Was that the one from below that we can get? That can open? Because it needed... Oh, whatever. Alright. Um, oh, it looks like there's a new objective here. Why didn't that come up on the map? Unless it's like... Where is it? Hmm. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna go and try to... Uh, unlock the quest, just in case we sort of come across it along the way. I want to be able to complete it. The node is a huge mid-tier commerce hub. Don't get caught up in the deal making. Focus on the job. Alright. Duly noted. Look, you can pawn your organs there, Flesh. Looks like a good deal. <laughs> Alright, so here's our New objective yeah, yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Oh, you're here for the stuff. Oh, shit. About time you came on by. I've been holding this for ages. Really? Now, you'll be careful with this shit. Mark my words. This is grade A nuclear level roids we're talking about here. Oh. Might be a little intense for some. Go ahead. What you do with this, how much you use or don't use, none of my business. Anyway, here you go. Now get the fuck out of here. Now. Alright, so that was one of our other quests. Now what is this icon here? It looks like a potion almost. Uh, details. The bounties. Okay. We do have a couple of those, so we can go ahead and cash those in. What is it with flesh and the desire for saturated fats and E. coli bacteria? <laughs> okay. So, apparently the food is not particularly sanitary. Is this right here? Okay, here we go. I'll start anything, you hear? Um, actually, I want to look at our bounties before I go ahead and cash them in. I don't think it really tells us any. Man, we got a ton of them. Sad bents. Okay, yeah, it doesn't tell us anything about them. It's going to be a whole bunch of money, though. Collecting a bounty, huh? You just made this rotten arc. Well done. You cred's been transferred. I imagine he put up quite a fight. You sure earned this bounty. Nobody's gonna miss that chrome sucking scumbag. Nice job taking him down. Here's the bounty. Did he put up a fight? Nah, I don't really care. There he is, you creds. So you have a bounty to collect. Good for you. Here's your money. So they're all pretty much a thousand. Pretty straightforward. Now what I really want to do while we're in a sort of city area, um, I kind of want to take a look at upgrading our hacking rig, which I think is that. Let's just check this again. Cyber, yes. So it's right upstairs. We were just up there we'll just head back up there to see if there's any crates here for us a lot of conversations happening all around Take a peek at what you got. Alright, so these are just the same as before. Well, that's boring. 
We should take a look at her gear anyway. Picked up a bunch of stuff. Um, armor. Worse. Generally worse. Nothing new, and all of them are worse. Um, so here's a new one. The Vital Tracks Vest. U plus basic torso protection. Uh, project an active and healthy lifestyle by wearing the Vital Tracks vest with multiple body scan sensors mounted on the inside. Vital Tracks will keep you and your employer informed about the health statistics you have at all times. Um, so it's generally worse than what we got, so who cares? Uh, we have a new type of pant called the Eyesore. It is worse than what we currently have. No label, basic leg protection. The Bizor leg rig is a repurposed bipedal mobility platform taken from a decommissioned repair bot. Well, I at least want to take a look at what this looks like. Provides some basic protection from heat and ballistic attacks, but you'll never dance again. Alright, so they're implying that you have to remove your legs to wear that. Um, let's take a look at what this vest looks like, too. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool looking. Not gonna lie. I think I like it better from a stylistic standpoint than our uh, Boom Blocks vest. But uh, I think we're good with what we got. Now... Have I looked at all these? I think I have. Yep. We're good. Um, that's unfortunate because I really want to upgrade my hacking. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, how do we upgrade the gun again? Um, do we do that at the gunsmith? Maybe? Well, whatever. It's been a little bit since I played this last, so. Um, alright. So I think that that is that. Let us take a look at this hammer thing over here. I think that that might be the gunsmith. Go ahead and take a look at our weapons. Okay, so this is how we upgrade them. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Ooh, that was expensive. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to upgrade anymore. But that'll give us a nice little boost. Let's go the armor dealer. Just sort of take a look at what they got. I suspect that there won't be anything there for us, but you never know, and we can start getting rid of our excess inventory as well. Alright, they do have some new stuff, but let's sell what we don't need here. Money's starting to look kind of healthy.
very healthy. All right. Um, let's take a look at what they have on in stock. So they have headgear. Ooh, that is a lot better than what we have. It looks like they have something here that we have never seen before. The TACCOM headset. Cabinet tech. Basic head protection. The F20 TACCOM headset allows the operator to uphold proper communication channels uh, during the heat of battle. A shielded, hardware encrypted signal provides a uh, good range, and anyone wearing it will look like a proper field commander. It does look pretty cool. Ah, uh, it's right there. Then we also have the Feud Mask. I don't like that at all. Black Market Medium Head Protection. The mark for the Cyber Warrior Kit. You don't need to fake a smile with this on. It does a perfectly decent job of protecting your face while also boosting several aspects to the wearer. That is better than what we have. I do not like how it looks, though. I might check out this Boom Block HD. I mean, it's definitely ugly, but it's kind of badass, too. Alright, let's take a look at what they have for upper body. They have a D20 Tech Best Plus Abnet Tech Basic Torso Protection. This tech vest comes with numerous nifty accessories multiple mount uh, already mounted such as a halogen work light wireless scanners multiple socket adapters and even a filtered rehydration system for those with shifts that uh, where there's a long time with no break uh, I don't like it I like our boom block then we have the feud vest feud vest black market Basic torso protection. Light and unrestricted, the vest, the feud vest allows for great flexibility and doesn't hinder your movement in any way. It's a good choice when speed and efficiency is important. And we have no other new, sh new gear for the upper body and the lower body. There seems to be a couple down there. Is this the one we already have? What are our pants? This is the boom block. So they have the few trousers. Black market. Medium leg protection. A set of fairly... <laughs> a set of fairly neutral trousers that goes without the Cyber Warrior feud set. That goes with the... Oh my god, I can't read they do exactly what you expect from trousers and a little bit more for the complete Cyber Warrior experience. Don't like them. They're ugly. Alright, I might pick up this headgear though. It's not... I mean, we can afford it. Alright. Uh, loadout. Um, bum, bum, bum. Armor? Yeah, that's it. Cool. Alright, so what did we lose? We lost... What? What is this? So this might be critical, and this might be... I'm not exactly sure. Um, okay, so we we lost some cybernetics and, and critical. Okay. Well, we can buy back some critical, I suppose. They try to keep that at five. All right, we're looking pretty badass. Let's go ahead and sell the uh, uh, high hab monocle that we're no longer using.
It's just too bad that our arms are not covered. Because that would be sort of like the ultimate in looking like we have the high hab set up. All fleshed out. Alright, we got some gear coming up here. Um, is it inside? How do I get in there? Oh, there's a door right here. Alright, we'll talk to this guy. That's disgusting. Alright, so we have Hydraulic Slam, which we already got. I really like that one. Uh, there's nothing else here. It's pretty much exactly what we already have seen before in other places. So let's go ahead and complete the quest. We should be getting close. Onyx Void HQ. Let's take a look at the description of this guy. What's a customer facing Hydrocat facility? This interesting structure now houses the local headquarters of Onyx Void. A few unwary habbers made jokes about the chosen location of the OV the first time they set up shop, but the jokes soon died after they lost all their vocal organs in strange and violent accidents. In the surrounding neighborhoods, there's the expression, I've got your tongue. Has, uh, which has since acquired a whole new meaning. All right, so they are organ harvesters, apparently. Um, all right, cool. Uh, one other thing I want to do here is there was a bio for a new character named Merle. So let's take a look at that. Merle. So this is the guy we bought the uh, steroids from. Merle is not exactly a people person. Which is odd, considering that his whole side hustle, dealing steroids and other stims, forces him into contact with people on a fairly regular basis. But oh well, what are you gonna do? The dealer may suck, but sometimes it's worth putting up a lot of S if the S is gold, which Merle's most certainly is. So just get in, get out. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we'll do Antine as well here while we're in here. I don't know who this person is. Antine recently lost the body of his kin. Oh, that's okay. The body of his kin, Undina, in what appears to be some sort of secret corpse snatching operation. Oh. Interesting. And we're at the Onyx Void, who are organ harvesters. I wonder if there's a connection here. Uh, he claims to mourn her excessively. But whatever he, uh, but whether he actually misses her or not, the U creds he is supposed to, the, that he is supposed to receive from her life insurance, re remains unclear. Okay. Um. All right. Let's go ahead and complete this. And, oh. No, listen. There's a sign-in bonus. You are ugly. I'm 438 Hung, and you're in a timer. Okay. Attacked a meeting. I have no idea what you're jabbering about, but that ugly speech hole of yours would be much improved by staying closed. So you've lost a few habbers. How does this concern Onyx Void exactly? Careful where you point those digits, Indent. But as it happens, you're in luck. I know where your precious habits are, but there's an inquiry fee. I don't think I'm going to pay that. Do I have to pay that? Then I have a proposal. Do a small job for me, and you'll get the information in return. This is a very video gamey thing to do. <laughs> One of my operatives is being held by the Rojin. Of course not. He spoiled goods. Flatline both him and the Rojin holding him. No witnesses. Onyx Void always cleans up. The operative is presently being entertained at a Rojin Oyabun's penthouse in the top of the East Gemini Tower. 
Expect a warm reception. I want my operative tag as proof of the termination. Do not fail me. Onyx Void always cleans up. Hmm. All right, we'll take a look at the four. What, what was it called? 438 Hung. Okay, so this is like the guy. Where's my mouse? I'll make sure I'm not accidentally clearing something here. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Hung was not born to power. He fought for it, grabbed it, and pulped anyone who stood against him. And all the while, he never lost his cool. A fast riser with an onyx void. Few dare to cross or fail him. There are plenty of bodies lying around as examples of what happens if you do. Very cool. Hey, we'll talk to this guy. Got me this bounty once. Turned out to be one of my best mates. And I thought about it for like two seconds, but in the end I took the money and his head. I mean, come on, mates, come and go. A chunk of change, that's forever, right? <laughs> or at least until your next stim town run, that is. Alright. You a bounty hunter? Take down any killer bounties lately? I heard there's this one guy so effing gone, so effing out there. You can only actually track him down in the snooze world. Okay. Like, in some kind of parallel effing dimension or something. Can you believe it? And here's the craziest part. When you find him, apparently he shows up in this effing cuddly white rabbit or some s. Interesting. Man, I wouldn't know whether to pet him or put him down. There's a lot of people to talk to here. You know that phrase, blood's thicker than water? Well, it's actually the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. It means your family isn't what you're born into. It's your comrades in arms. Your family is who you say it is. Okay. So watch your step around here. Because we're all family in these spots. And you most certainly are not. You know, I gotta say, I used to love killing people. Bone, uh, cold, stone cold dead. But now I kind of like just teleporting them halfway. Uh, sort of half in, half out of this world. Watch them vibrate themselves to death, shrieking all the while. Definitely livens up the usual boring old kill, won't you say? Alright, that's pretty creepy. You're still on a timer, and it's getting very short. The operative is presently being entertained at a Rojin Oyabun's penthouse in the top of the East Gemini Tower. Expect a warm reception. All right. So I think we're done with that. Um, I guess we're not getting in. We might have to join the Onyx Void or something to get access to all that cool stuff up there. Wait, what is this? Oh yeah, kill the operative. Right, right, right. So where is that exactly? Where are we going here? Oh, it's over here. Well, if it's on this level, we might be able to do it this episode. Um, how do I go up and down here? Previous tier. Okay, that's how we go up and down. Alright, it does appear to be on this level, so let's go ahead and just try it out. Stop 
All right, we got Gemini stacks coming up. Uh, let's go ahead and read this. We sh I should probably be trying to do these as as we go. Um, yeah, I think there's some of these that we didn't read. All right, when the Arcology was first built. There was so much enthusiasm surrounding this enormous undertaking. Arch architects from across the common flocked to Velis, eager to make their mark on the latest gigastructure. The Ascent Group held architectural contests to encourage participation and minimize processing costs. The Gemini stacks are the result of one such contest. Many Rosian inhabit the Gemini stacks in the area has a reputation for affluence as well as maimed corpses. So the ones I think we might have missed are this knit rod. Alright. No man's land. And... So knit rod is found on the arcology outskirts and the area is dominated by two large production facilities run by Aitco and BioChoice Pharma. In between these gigantic factories can be found a variety of small markets and back alley clubs, as well as dark back streets and rough areas that regular havers don't venture to. Uh, a capsule hotel serves the habless still on contract and the few business travelers unfortunate enough to visit the area. So let's quickly do No Man's Land too. No Man's Land has long been a dangerous area, situated as it is between the Turbo Vipers and the Liquid Quicks. I do, I do think we read this, but it served as the unofficial bounty between the turfs and was rarely entered uh, except to settle duels or conduct sneak attacks, with the Turbo Vipers now in escalated conflict mode with the Liquid Quicks. The Vipers have managed to claim the area and the zone has been marked has a marked a marked rise in activity. Okay. Enough. For that. All right. So we should have enemies coming up. Ow. Good shot. Nice aim. blown up this car. Pretty straightforward fight. Guys with katanas as opposed to baseball bats now.
All right, that was a little bit more complicated of a battle. Now, do we go up or do we go in here? bit of treasure here. back here. These guys are higher level than me by fairly decent margin. Do I dare? I shouldn't. I'm level 12? Well, they're only level 15. That's not too bad. But I'm, my health is not great here. guys might be a little bit outside of my comfort zone especially because we're on our last health bar here so let's go upstairs and we could just bust that open I don't think we're gonna be back here too often so blowing that up doesn't concern me too much Nice, we're all the way up. Um, can't really see. call button. Or I could just use this one. Not be a doofus. Oh, is this going to be some boss fight or something? charge. Stop. 
suck. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's loot all this garbage out of here. So shotgun came in handy there. I suppose it does when you have a bunch of melee guys coming after you. That's kind of the expected thing. Because they're already going to get close to you. You don't have to make a special effort. Can I toss a grenade down there? No, I can't. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, it appears as though we completed the mission here pretty, pretty easily. Let's head on back and deliver the good news. Complete an objective, maybe we can get a little bit of a level up, although we did just level up, so... So probably not, but we'll... We'll get the nice satisfaction of a job well done, right? Shocking the biz, that's easy. They call him the ghost. Because he comes and goes, and you'll never even know he was there in the first place. How do I know? Because I knew the guy, obviously. The ghost. I had a friend who... Excuse me. I had a friend who worked with him real close for a bit. I even met him once. Strange dude. Didn't take to people, really. Not surprising. But that guy could hack some corp ice with one hand, playing a mean game of null with the other. Oh. Where's he now? Hell if I know. I could be... He could be eavesdropping on us right now, for all I know. Okay. Well, what is this? You can talk to this thing? True Talk is embarking today on Here Intercom Tour, visiting 20 systems in 20 cycles, relative. Here entourage of nearly 2,000 frenzied groupies of all species has been given a ship of their own, aptly named the Fornicatory. It will surely be the party of the century on board, which incidentally is how long the tour will last in real time. <laughs> Five births on the Fornicatory to lucky contestants. Visit our sphere for more information. All the usual disclaimers apply. It always warms my tender heart when I hear of people overcoming great odds during a crisis. And today, I have just such a story to share with you. Well, this is taking a little, a little too long. Of a recent meeting between stack bosses in the Warrens, that colorful and rustic low hat sector in the upper deep. The carnage was a joy to behold for fans of the intense sport, as three teams saw their contestants completely obliterated. We've also learned that the Rogen in Corp Zone has gracefully offered aid and support to anyone in need during these trying times. They're giving away free starter chips at the Golden Satori, and even free spins for a select few. And they've even gave out blankets to a group of destitute low havers. It's truly encouraging when such a respected organization stoops to help the little people. Okay, I hope this it's escapes like the end. I always say, every dark cloud comes with a silver lining. Cool. 
I feel like this episode's getting a little bit long, so let's wrap it up real quick here. And then we'll take a look at what we have for quests and see if there's any nearby for the next episode. Hi, we're done. You return, and I see you brought the tag. Yeah, give me something. I did not expect you to live. This is mildly impressive. The Malhorse Gel Corporation has your indents. The carrier they're holding them on is scheduled for departure in a few cycles. Check the Cosmodrome. Since MG Corp are in breach, they are no longer enjoying our protection. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, that'll wrap up this episode here. We got quite a bit done. Uh, and I'll take a peek at what we have on the docket for other close-by objectives, and we'll tackle that in the next episode. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, for joining me, not us. I suppose it's not us, too. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this, and if you have, please like, maybe comment, maybe share, maybe subscribe. New episodes every day. I'm going to try to put them up around 2 o'clock. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.